Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, we're going to be making the peanut and mayonnaise sandwich. And you might think, hey, that's easy. Put peanuts on, put mayonnaise on, put it together. <laughs> no. So the first thing we have to do is beat an egg. Then we have to thin out that egg with some sour cream. Yeah, I've never heard of this either. Doesn't say how much sour cream either. Maybe sour cream was different back then. Literally sour to cream. <laughs> Next, we melt some butter. Add in the juice of one lemon, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Then we slowly add in our thinned egg. Then we add in ground peanuts. And no, it doesn't say how much, just sufficient to make a butter, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And we put that concoction between two slices of white bread and top with a crisp lettuce leaf. Okay, let's give this peanut and mayonnaise sandwich a go. All I'm tasting is lemon and peanuts. I'm gonna try and plus it up because it's not doing really great right now. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little chipotle powder, a little smoky heat. And my wonderful significant other suggested sliced green olives. Okay, let's give this hopefully plussed up peanut and mayonnaise sandwich a go. That is better. Actually, the olives are quite nice. Counteracting the uh, tartness of the lemon from the mayonnaise. And, um, Chipotle powder is bringing a little bit of smoky heat. That turned it into something that's worth snacking on. Uh, the original sandwich, just peanuts and lemon, I'm going to give it a three. It wasn't that good. The plus stop version, I'll bump it up to a six. It's a nice little snack. I probably will finish that. Um, but will I make it again? Probably not. Oh well. See you next time.